Well, there are still a lot of questions coming into our newsroom about the vaccine, how it's being distributed and who can get it. And of course, how to on your sides, Kelly Dudzik brings us answers to some of your latest questions. As thousands of Western New Yorkers get the first dose, they also have questions about the second. I got this question a lot. Can you tell me if an appointment has to be made for the second dose or is the appointment made at the time of the first? A spokesperson for the New York State Department of Health told me if you're making an appointment on the state's website for a state run site, you should only make an appointment for your first dose. He says while they are on site to receive their first dose, an appointment will be made for the second. And he added that you'll get your second dose at the same place. Can you get this vaccine if you're allergic to a medication? That's a popular question. The state gave me information from the CDC that says the two COVID-19 vaccines currently available in the U.S. do not contain eggs, preservatives, or latex. I was also given links to the full list of ingredients in each vaccine, and I'll put them in this story online. And this is just me saying this, but if you have questions about your allergies, ask your doctor. They have your personal health history and are there to give you medical advice. Once people are fully vaccinated and they want to travel out of state, will they have to do quarantine for 10 days or test before they come back to New York, wait three days and test to opt out of the quarantine? The state health department told me even though most people who've been vaccinated will be protected from illness, it's still possible they may still transmit COVID-19 to others. As such, New York's pandemic travel requirements have not changed at this time. And we still don't know what medical conditions qualify you for phase 1B. Last week, the state said that people who are immunocompromised would be included in that group, but it hasn't come out with a list yet. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.